I'm off from training, so it'll be interesting. One, a year off from the cage, but then right. uh, he had a lot of time off from training to recover. Contest is scheduled for three three-minute rounds in the DC Amateur catch weight at 195 pounds. It is brought to you by Limitless, Male Medical Clinic, the leader in testosterone therapy. Introducing first, fighting out of the Pulse Viner's blue corner. This boxer wrestler stands six foot tall, weighed in at 197 pounds. Holding an amateur record, four wins, five defeats. Training out of 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu Omaha and Bang Muay Thai. Fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, James Thug Life Kanat. His opponent across the cage, fighting out of the Nebraska Lottery Red Corner. is a Jedi fighter standing six foot tall, weighed in at 196 pounds. Holding an amateur record, three wins, zero defeats. Training out of Pinnacle Sports and Fitness Team Viper and fighting out of Lincoln, Nebraska, Gabriel the Goon Frayer. Your referee is Dave Jobin. All right, here we go. Frayer versus uh, James Cannot. Boy, I'm looking forward to this. This is probably my amateur KO of the night, one of these guys. Yeah, I don't see this fight going the distance at all. Somebody's taking a nap. Right, especially with the night we've had so far with all the finishes. Boy, yeah. I'd be, yep. I'd, I'd be definitely surprised if uh, this one went it's to the judges. a little judges. surprised to see the grappling out of Fraher. Right. Goes in the distance on him. May want to wear him down a little bit, soften him up. Yeah, I know. I don't believe I've ever seen James TKO'd, um, but I've definitely seen him throw down. Yeah, for sure. So Absolutely. maybe you just don't want to risk it. Right. Fraher with the double underhook. See if he uh, either goes for a trip or maybe see if he can use this. Go a high knee. All right, now they separate. Let's see. Uh, let's see if Freyer uh, goes to try to close the distance again. You see, Kanat using some feints and a little bit more head movement and moving around a little bit. He, he threw a couple level changes in there. Trying to really going with that backhand though, not really yep. setting it up too much. Right. Maybe I'd like to see him throw maybe some more jabs or lead hooks, set that up for that overhand and get his distance right. But the finger is right. helping though. Good straight right. Yeah. He cannot. There you go. You see, Fair start opening up with some leg kicks. Oh, caught him, maybe he slipped. Down, yeah. Oh, good knee from Fraher. The knee to the body. They're throwing, they're throwing hard. Yeah. My buddy Joe Wilkes said, it says, it ain't volleyball, man. They're there to hurt each other. Yeah. I've, like I said, uh, Kanat's not one for a war. I've seen him take a lot of punishment. So, um, you, you see Kanat there use the old Houston Alexander uh, thigh punch. Yeah, it looks like, um, Fraher went for the kick and slipped. Ooh, looks like he's getting ready to pass. Oh, should nice go right to mount, go to side control. He had the position, got the guard open. See if he, uh, haven't seen much of Fraher's ground game. Two, saw a little bit of Kanats when he fought uh, Brooks Boyer. Boy, First tight fight, round. Maybe yeah. uh yeah, it's Kanat, close you think? Yeah, because close of the round, right. He moved around a little bit. I know Freyer closed the distance on him, but uh, I know it seems like Kanat landed the, the you know, a little bit more effective strikes. It's male medical clinic. Good first the round. leader in testosterone therapy. Did not definitely did not see that one going into the second round though after the night we've been having. Yeah, the feints to the the feint to the straight right seem to be working quite a bit for uh James like to see him use his jab a bit more, but I think ending up on top at the end is what's going to end up uh, yeah, definitely. helping him. See, Kanat taking some big breaths there in his corner. 
Yeah. Another thing is uh, when Kanat was on top, kind of got a little greedy going to mount. I think he would have got that pass had he right. gone straight yeah, to side absolutely. control absolutely. with the knee cut. I think Fraher could do well um, with this clinch. He just has to stay active, get the positioning. Kind of right. dug for double unders and then didn't really do much with it. He got the position. Keep up head movement too. And they're throwing, it went right back to throwing. Ooh, good straight right. Ooh, Ooh good no, shots lands. from Freyries. Ooh, they're, they're banging. Oh, Maybe caught like, him or slipped? Yeah. Say he caught him. Looks right like to side control a, right. though. Looks like it's a little bit of both. Oh, James has the underhook, might use it to, Try to boy. Escape. He rolls. That oh, was gives risky, up his back. gives up, yep. A, yep. Gives up his back. Freyer looking to get his hooks in, looking to try to get him stretched out. Yeah, I made sit back. Right, sit, there, you there go. he goes. James can use the cage to kind of uh, scrape uh, Gabe off of him. And cannot turns or uh, yeah, yep. the guy gets out, gets out of that, gets out of that bad position, and now they're back to their feet. Cannot really loading up that right hand when he throws yeah. it. It'd be nice to see him set it up a little bit, like you were saying. Yeah, I don't know if uh, the cage is uh, maybe from some sweat from earlier in the fights or not. It seems like these guys have been slipping yeah, quite a slipping, bit, maybe because right. of how much power they're throwing in yeah. these. But um, both fighters have slipped quite a bit. Nice. Oh, can, good yeah. Kamara, if he can Kimura turn into up. it. Prayer with the single leg. Way to Needs to be careful, down. though. Kanaka yeah. can get this right, this left underhook and use it. Now he goes. He, dugs that, he dug his right underhook to lay him flat. Push down, go to mount, maybe. Might have it. Yep. Go to the back, see if he flattens him out here this time. Oh, he's on, at least around the neck, might be under it. Even on the chin, he could still finish this, yeah. it's just a little tougher. Oh, now uh, James getting his back to the mat, should. Now Freyer in the full mount. Cannot trying seconds. to roll out, yeah, 30 cannot, seconds left. Let's see if Cannot can make careful. it to the third round, yeah. Fryer hasn't uh, been able to capitalize yet on the back control, but uh, Kanat needs to be a little bit more careful with his mount escapes. He's given up his back right. quite a bit. Absolutely. Let's see if he stands up out of this. Gabe gets that wrist control. Use that right hand. There he goes. I think Kanat might survive, but looks like this round will go to Fryer, which might lead us to one and one. Yeah, absolutely. I, you know, I have, I have Kanat. Going now to the third the and round. final round. Once again, this fight is brought to you by oh, Limitless Kanat Male looks... Medical Clinic, the leader in testosterone therapy. I had, uh, I have Kanat in the first, and I have Freyer in the second. So let's, uh, you never know with these judges, though. You never know. Yeah, you know, I definitely that, say that second round was a right, lot yeah. more for Freyer. Maybe saying, the that, first, right, yeah. That first round could have been close. So, you know, depending on who, as a corner, this is where it's very imperative to let your fighter know, hey, we're down. We need to win this round. We need to finish, you know? Let's not get complacent, so. Boy, both fighters look exhausted. I mean, given this is amateurs and they're going to the third round. If I was one of these guys, man, I might get off my stool and just stare at my right. opponent, no yeah. matter how tired you are. Play a little mental, mental game with them, you know? As exhausted, I know. Uh, cannot look in the other way, though. Gabe did a really good job controlling the ground. I'll, I, I wouldn't be surprised if he just tries to get this takedown right. again and work again to the uh, front mountain uh, back control. Did a lot better that round on using his ground game, which is newer. We really haven't seen that out of Gabe too much. Here we go, we see Kanat circling, circling away from the power. Yep, 
Leading with that right hand again. I think Gabe's showing a little bit better, a lot more of a toolbox uh, this right. fight around. Absolutely. He opened up a strike in the beginning of that second round and landed some pretty good shots. So yeah, when he's yeah, been right coming in that right hand, you know, I, I, I'm I guarantee Dwight Joseph was telling was telling uh, Freyher right under that right hand. You know it's coming. He's televising it. Shoot right under it. Yeah, he did a good job timing that. I think he's not taking the risk of standing with James, right. especially after how the second round went. He's definitely uh, more dominant. It's whoever gets on top. There you go, Freyer working for that, working for that takedown. Let's see if he can. Uh, he just got to watch his deeper. neck. Right, he's got to watch his neck. Let's see if he uh, gets in a little bit deeper on that shot and is able to finish it. Oh, James giving up his back. See if uh, Gabe can drag him down a bit. Looks like he might go for that Kamara, try for that Kamara again, but that's awful risky. Right. Especially as sweaty as Gabe is right now. Oh, good right good from right Gabe. Good right hand on the break. Very good. Way to strike out the break. I think Gabe's fighting a lot uh, smarter fight these last two rounds. Right. Really capitalizing on a good game plan. Oh. Couple of front kicks missed. I think Gabe can actually strike with him if he wants to. When yeah, he pushed absolutely. the pace in the second, oh. there you go. <laughs> can I just right move his head? Hand. Hands yeah. are down, though. Yep. When Gabe's gone forward and struck, he's got the better of the exchanges. I don't know what either one of these guys' kicking games is like, but um, I think if any, either one of them could set up maybe a head kick as tired as the other one is. Only a minute left. Less we might left. see our first decision of right. the night. Let's see who can dig deep. Let's see who can win over the judges in this last round. There's Kanat using that, that thigh punch again that Houston Alexander's kind of known for, who's also a Nebraska native. Yeah, I think Kanat's going to have to go for something big. Uh, Fraher. Yeah, he's going to have to go for it. He's going to have to go for broke here. He's got 30 seconds. If he wants to win this fight, he's going to have to you know, get inside and take a chance. It's still winnable, with even with 30 seconds oh, left. Oh, yeah, if absolutely. Can... Both guys are exhausted. Oh, if Gabe can get shot, this. If he gets this, it's going to be really, really big. Oh, he's deep. Oh, misses it. Still showing the aggression, though. i got to give this third round of Gabe based on aggression. A little bit better striking. Better control. Ooh, and oh, the and he takedown. It, yep. yep. He probably he just sealed the deal. Down. There you go. Good fight. At least Not two one for her. Right. For uh, her. Honestly, I'm I, sorry, I, Gabe. I, I probably <laughs> butchered your name. Just gonna throw that out there. Did not expect that one to go to the judges. Like I said, didn't expect that one to go to the judges, but never know with this sport, man. Uh, good fight from both guys. I think uh, Gabe really showed a lot more of a toolbox. Um, good game planning, and I, I really think he adjusted well in round two. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, you know, sometimes that's what it's about, just making, you know, little adjustments in, in, in listening to your corners. Like I said, I, I, Dwight Joseph's in the corner and Gabe Freyher. Dwight's a, 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 a very, very talented pro. I, I'm 100% I'm sure he told him that right hand was coming to look for the takedown right under that right hand. Yeah. Here, here's the official decision from Mike Kendall. Let's see what the judges went with. After three rounds of amateur MMA, we go to the judges' scorecards. One judge scores about 29-28. The other scores about 30-27. And the third judge scores about 29-28 for your winner. By unanimous decision, Gabriel the Goon Frayer. And Gabe remains undefeated. Like I said, you these judges, like,